Welcome to my new plant collection. I guess I'm considered a plant parent now. Plants are very, very new to me. First time I've ever had plants. So uh, let's have a start here and see what I've got. And then in the comments, let me know what you think. Anyways, I got that stand to put the plants on and uh, got them all set up. This is about a month old here already. But uh, we'll have a look at that. I got the snake plant here at the end. And then I've got the African violets. Uh, the one's flowering. The other one in the back is not flowering because I've just about killed it. Uh, the one in the front is growing in soil, just straight from the store. And the one in the back here is growing in leka. I changed it to leka. And I think I stunted it or just about killed it. Down the bottom here, we have a jade plant. And in the back, another jade plant there. And a mother of thousands, or mother of millions, whatever people call them, might call them, mother of thousands plant. And down here, we have a spider plant. I just about killed it also. It's making a nice comeback. I'm an overwaterer, I found. So I've changed that. Another mother of thousands in the back and the frontier, both. And in that little dome, there's a mother of thousands also. Then we have your common ivy in the front and a blue star fern in the back. Blue star fern, never had, it. well, never had any of these kind of plants before. <laughs> and moving up, we have a Christmas cactus down in the center screen there. Not blooming at all, but it's coming along. And pothos. Now I've had pothos when I've had fish aquariums, so they're pretty hardy plant. Pothos, they were a hanging plant. I just took the hanger off and just put it on the shelf. And then we have a red maranta. Now I just about over, I just about killed this thing too. I overwatered it. It's got two stems and three leaves. And you can see there's one coming out of the center there. So it's making a comeback. And I'll keep you posted on this one. But they clamp up in the mine clamp up during the day and they uh, spread out during the evening. I'll have to show you that too, during the night. The next is the lime green Maranta. Now this one, I learned from the red Maranta what not to do. And uh, the lime green Maranta is really coming along good. New leaf here, several new leaves coming in and it's now a flyer flowering for me, so they're doing something good. In the back here, new leaf here, and a new leaf on the other side of this one, and in the center, another leaf coming out. This thing's really doing well. Like I said, my, my collection here is maybe three weeks old. green, lime green Maranta. Beautiful plant. Love the leaves. Man. And then we have Monstera Deliciosa. Delicious monster. Uh, this is a new leaf for me. I guess the more splits or st what do you call them? In the leaves the, 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 be the more healthy it is. When they don't have any um, splits, styration, whatever you call those, and holes in the leaves, then they're, they're more healthy when they're like that. Two new leaves on this Monstera Deliciosa for me since I purchased it. Brand new. You can tell by the different color of green leaves they have. Huge leaves. Love it. I don't know about at home, but in the wild they produce a fruit. It tastes like banana and pineapple, supposedly. Big fruit. Looks like a corn on the cob. And then we have a philodendron. Brand new leaf in the back there. 
and this leaf here is new to me also but when it came out the tip looked dry I just touched it and it broke off so that's what we have a broken tip and this is that the new leaf for me and then there's another one coming down just between the uh, that new one and so another new one's coming out of the new one <laughs> amazing little point there right at the end of my finger that's a new leaf coming there and then in the back underneath there's a new leaf just uncurling a philodendron philodendron red I, I don't know I don't know any uh, scientific names for any of these things so I'm lucky I know the common names my philodendron that's probably one of my better plants too and this is the extent of my plant collection guys um, make some comments below about uh, what it's like to uh, like I, I was an overwaterer so I've started to underwater <laughs> and uh, things are thriving they're, they're actually new leaves which are nice uh, plants take a long time to show any kind of uh, to show their you know make doing good or not so anyways this is it guys and uh, we'll bring you up to date we'll show you some nighttime shots of the marantas because they really spread out during the night <laughs>